Good morning, lovely people. Um, today's Saturday. I haven't been vlogging in a very long time because work's been eating my ass up. Like, I'm not even going to front. Um, but today's going to be fun. I have, I, <clears throat> excuse me, last night I hung out with my friends and saw Joyride. It's such a cute movie. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It's super cute, super funny, and really unexpected. Um, even if you don't know anything about Chinese culture, Asian culture, Korean culture, <laughs> it's still a very funny movie. Um, and I enjoyed myself last night. Got home pretty late, went to sleep, woke up, um, got ready for yoga. Um, my angles have to be better, but I feel like my stomach looks flatter than the last time I put this on in front of y'all, so I'm happy about that. Um, I'm gonna do yoga at Equinox today, and then, um, after that, I'm going to go meet my friend to have some food at this place called Spanky's. Before I go to Equinox, I also want to go to Aesop um, to buy some more soap for my soap dispenser. Um, and yeah, today is going to be a fun day, pretty chill day at that. And I'm just looking forward to relaxing and self-caring. Um, I do feel a little sick. Like, you know when you get kind of mucusy? But I think I want to go to Pressed and get one of those like ginger turmeric shots. Sorry, I'm making my bed the same time that I'm talking to y'all. But um, yeah, I want to get one of those turmeric shots to kind of clear things up. Because anytime I feel like this, I take one of those shots and I'm, I feel pretty good after. Um, so yeah, we'll get that taken care of. I got to figure out a new way to make my bed because... The bed is a lot taller now, so the sheets um, don't cover the bed the way I want them to. So I need like a new duvet that's like a little bit longer, or a new duvet cover, and then that way I could double up the duvets that are inside of it and have it look a little more luxurious because it's giving very basic. But anyways, um. It's cloudy, so I'm gonna go walk Mystique real quick, let my camera charge, and then I'll just talk to y'all from there. I'm gonna go to ASAP after I walk Mystique, so see y'all later. Hey, a lot of you guys are wanting to walk away, um, and Spirit is saying leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. Uh, What's well, stopping you from doing so? Some of you guys may have been thinking about doing this in the past, releasing someone, letting someone go, because you're seeing this as an obstacle. You have the Three of Swords as an obstacle and the Four of Swords here in the past energy here, Libra. So what's stopping you from moving forward? What's stopping you from leaving a situation? Situation that may feel uh, like you're not being nurtured here you're unhappy someone's a headache to you here okay um, yeah I feel like you guys feel like this relationship may have potential potential all right y'all so um, I just parked and I'm gonna go there into Aesop to get my hand soap and I'll show you what I get once I get back to the car and then I'm gonna walk across the street here um, well it's not really a street across the parking lot and get um, a juice shot so that way I can clear this up what's going on and then hopefully get some lotion from my hands while I'm in there cuz this is ridiculous but yeah see you on a little bit all right so we're back um, I got a refill from Aesop for the hand soap that's in our bathroom it's called reverence hand wash this is what it looks like and they were so nice and it was starting to get busy in there apparently I found out that the geranium body wash and body lotion is a natural mosquito repellent which is really cool and then they gave me these samples the rind concentrate the geranium leaf body cleanser and the rind concentrate body balm and I was asking for some lotion like as a sample and they gave me a really pretty sizable sample I might save this for um, for when I travel because the size is like divine. But now I'm not ashy anymore. So yay to that. We love we love a moisturized queen. 
Um, so, got that out of the way, right? And then, um, that looks a little better. And it smells amazing. And then she sprayed the linen bags. I love the Aesop's packaging because I like to reuse these um, for just anything. They're linen, so it's like really nice to reuse it. But she sprayed it with um, this perfume called Marrakesh Intense, and it smells so good. It's so sexy. It's such a sexy scent. I'm gonna go back and buy it just to spray it on my like on the pillows in the bed because it's like. This would smell so good going to sleep and smelling that on a pillow. Like, uh, anyways, um, from Pressed, because I walked over from Aesop to get Pressed. So from Pressed, I got my juice that I told y'all I was going to get because my throat is, is showing some signs of me needing to listen to it. And then I also got a smoothie bowl, uh, the Power Bowl, with granola and almond butter but I got a blueberry base because it ran out of the acai base, which is fine by me because I'm not super tied to acai. But yeah, that's it so far. I'm going to eat this and throw away all this trash and then head over to Equinox to go do the yoga. Oof. It never gets easy taking these shots. Excuse me, that was, oh my god, that was gross. It never gets easy taking those shots, but when I tell you they work, they can work. Alright, I'm going to eat this, then I'm going to head over to Equinox, and I'll see y'all later. Bye. The fact that the first floor of the River Oaks District is full is crazy to me. Like, I know it's Saturday and all, but... There's not that many people outside. Like, where are y'all? Okay, Bentley Ben Tiger. That's nice. That's real nice. Um, I'm just gonna park here. That says reserved parking, so I can't park there. But I can park here. So I'm gonna reverse into it. And we in there like somewhere. All right, y'all. I don't think I'm gonna bring the camera in there because it's actually should I. Because if they have a locker system, then I probably could bring it in. I'm just going to go for my phone. I think that'll be easier. And then I'll let y'all know my experience when I come back. But, um, yeah, we're about to hop in and do some yoga. And then I brought a shirt to put over my sports bra. So I can meet up with my friend to go have lunch. And, yeah, um, I'm actually here early. They said get here 20 minutes early. Um... 30 minutes early so we'll put on some moisturizations I'm trying to use this one first because I like the peacher color one this one has a a cool like it's purple so it has a cool tint to it so it makes my teeth look whiter which I do appreciate but um yeah and my hands are dry because I came back I went back inside at home and I, uh, I went to go pee, so I don't have to do it. I don't like peeing in public restrooms. So I just went home, peed, and um, also refilled my soap bottle. Just because that soap bottle is low. And now I'm putting on some more lotion. I'm going to take my purse with me, obviously, because I'm not dumb. So why would you leave your purse in the car, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I'm gonna grab my purse, leave my shirt, take this trash, throw it away. Let me put my hair up. Let me put my hair up. So that way, that's not in the way. It's kind of hard to do that when I'm so high up. But the stairwell's right there. I just hop down the stairwell, and then I'll be right in there. I'm excited. I've never actually gone to this location. Like, I've never gone to Equinox. I've gone to a lot of gyms, but I've never gone to Equinox. Because I always try to find the value in it, you know? It's just like, well, why even bother? I, and now that I have a gym in my apartment community, it's kind of like, well, maybe don't worry about it, you know? But, okay, it's been secured. Almost. 
Alright, button is secured. And now I am going to throw away this trash. And then I'm gonna go. Alright, see y'all later. Y'all, it's so hot in here, but I'm looking forward to it. Seems pretty fun. Have all the yoga blocks and all the yoga mats spread out. And yeah, see how this goes. So I just finished the class. It was great. I cried a little bit. <laughs> um, but it was a good class. They gave champagne after, which was really cool. So of course I had some. It was Prosecco, which I actually like more than champagne. It's still sparkling, so you can't go wrong with that. And then I took, not took, but they also had waters for the class, so I grabbed one of these as a roadie. And now I'm on the phone, so I'll talk to you later. Well, yeah, like I was saying, um, the class was really, really good. Towards the end, once we were done with all the difficult tasks, and we had a moment of reflection and a moment of gratitude, and that's when I started to cry, because it was just like, the prompts that she was giving us of just like, be present in this moment, and you know, like, the reason you love yourself is because of, you know, like, she was really pouring into us, and then she was like, leave your leave something here like take a deep breath and leave something here um and it was just really like heartfelt because like you don't really think like that on a daily basis it makes you realize how much you don't really think like that all the time and when you're at a yoga class you have the opportunity to think like that and be like you know what i am grateful for my life and I am grateful for what I get to experience and I do have a capable body and my body is is my temple and like I'm very like grateful for all the things that I have in my life and all the people that I have in my life so it was just a moment of really strong positivity and yeah that's a moment I won't forget it was really cool so yeah now I'm heading to Spanky's it's been raining on and off so I'm like 12 minutes away um, so we'll go to that and then I'll go back home, take a shower, I'm gonna wash my braids and then wait till Chris gets off of work and then just go from there. So, see y'all later. You gotta check up to get a nigga that was so much fun. So, I just love Spanky's. Um, they have probably the best pizza that I've had in Houston. So now I see what the fuss is about. That place is so good and it's so affordable. Um, so yeah, I hung out with my friend. We caught up, had a good time. I'm just so happy I was able to hang out with her. Um, and just talk, just shoot shit, you know, just have a little key, you know? And not on some, you know, bad type stuff. It was just so, like it, poured into my cup knowing that she's doing good and that she's having a great life and yeah I'm looking forward to hanging out with her some more she has a beautiful jewelry line um that I will link so that way y'all can purchase some jewelry yourselves but yeah I'm gonna go home and um what time is it 4.52 I'm gonna go home check on my check on Mystique and just go from there and take a shower because I'm you know I went straight from yoga to here and just chill for the rest of the day so see y'all at home bye I know it's been a while I know I know I know um, but I'm heading to Dallas um, nothing super out of the ordinary I'm just taking a quick um, trip to Dallas to take care of some things and then I'll be on my way back I'm gonna take y'all with me to Dallas but 
I'm gonna see if I can maybe clear out this memory card because it says I only have 50 minutes and I think I can get more than 50 minutes of footage. But anyways, um, yeah, I hope y'all are doing good. It is Tuesday, we're in July. <laughs> I'm still uploading May content. Um, hopefully I can get that up to date, but at least my computer is working. Things are starting to settle down. The move kind of wiped me out. So yeah, we're looking good, we're looking better. And that's better than nothing. So I hope y'all are having a good day. I'm just going to get some work done and then head on out. So I'll see y'all in the car. And we're in Dallas. <laughs> um, I, this is how I know I'm a Houston native because I'm just like, I miss my home. <laughs> but it's a regular hotel. I'm staying at the Hilton Garden Inn. It's a double bed. Just regular two beds bathroom nothing crazy this is not a luxury type of experience this is not a vacation i'm literally taking care of some stuff and then heading back home so yeah i need to see where i would need to park on in order to see my car and our little rental car is so cute can i see it from here no i can it's right there okay cool um yeah i'm gonna go grab some dinner and just go from there but yeah i'll see y'all later bye a lot has happened <laughs> since the last time i talked to y'all i went to where did i go i went to cheddar's um which in my opinion it was cool um what else did happen like i was saying i got stuff taken care of i'm so excited to be going home tomorrow i'm so exhausted and just ready to sleep at home in a comfy bed and a AC that's not making that noise I'm just ready to go home so I the next time I see you I'll probably hold this hold this to myself the next time I'll see you I'll be excited because I'll be home so see you at home good night good night Hey, like I've been promising I was gonna pick y'all up when I had something actually to do. So right now I have something to do. Today is my dad's birthday party. Um, it's his 60th birthday party because um, he turned 60th on August 3rd. Um, yesterday my uncle was supposed to come here with my aunt and my cousin and their flight got canceled. So if y'all think about flying Frontier, baby, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, so they're they're bummed out about. It. They're still back at home in Atlanta. Um, but they were supposed to be here. Um, I've been at home basically editing, just getting my life together, trying to figure out what the hell I'm gonna wear to my dad's birthday party. Cause the theme is black and gold because he's a Saints fan. He's from Louisiana. If y'all didn't know, my daddy Alabama, my mom Louisiana. I'm just like that, but in reverse. So my dad's Louisiana, my mom's Alabama. But that actually is what's going on right now. Anyways. And I had a pimple right here, so now it looks like it's a lot. Anyways, I have to figure out what I'm gonna wear because I don't have stuff that's formal enough for a birthday party. Also, I don't have anything that's not hoochie. Like, cause I have this dress that I'm trying on. Hold on, let me see if I can show y'all. Cause I have it on button right now. <laughs> I have my shirt on, but I took off my pants. So hold on, let me see if I can show y'all. So I have this outfit that I'm trying to wear that I would be like, okay, maybe it wouldn't be too bad, but that's, that's where it stops. And I wouldn't be wearing the shirt. So obviously I can't wear this to my dad's birthday party. Like I can't have my coochie just hanging out like that. That's just not going to work. <laughs> not that my coochie would actually be hanging out, but I'll get what I'm saying. Like I can't actually wear that. Um... I was thinking about doing like some business casual, but how lame would that be, you know? Um, or maybe being comfy. There's these cute pants that I have. I can wear this and like a black top and some heels to dress it up and maybe a blazer just to so that I don't look super bland, you know? But it's hard for me to find a cute little black dress that's actually a black dress that's appropriate for my dad's party. So that's the dilemma that's happening right now. So I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear. Um, today I have planned, 
I just exported another vlog. This vlog is the computer vlog, me repairing my computer. So, um, still trying to get caught up with content. Um, we think we're at like 250 subscribers, which is awesome. Let me double check because y'all know how I be not knowing stuff. Let me make sure, let me make sure. So as of today, we have 232 subscribers. So I'm super happy about that and it's only up from here. So yeah, um, so what I'm gonna do now is put my pants back on, go walk Mystique, meet up with my mom because we were gonna meet up before my dad's party um, and then figure out what I'm gonna get, like what I'm gonna wear and then do my makeup Chris is gonna go to the gym, then we're gonna drive over there, and I'm probably gonna do the, the vlogging and stuff from my phone because you already know how family get when they see a camera, they just be doing too much, so I'm just gonna be doing this from my phone, and then I'll probably see y'all again once I'm dressed so y'all can figure out what I'm wearing before I actually go to the party, so anyways, I hope y'all are having a great day. It is Saturday. It is August. <laughs> I know I'm still posting content from May and June and July, but bear with me, y'all. I promise I'll get caught up eventually. Um, but yeah, hope y'all are having a great day, and I will see y'all when I'm fully dressed. Bye.
So this is what I was wearing today. I have this black dress. And hey again. Um, I know I'm a horrible vlogger. I know. I I know. Um, but hi. I hope y'all are having a great day. My day went well so far. Um, I'm simply coming back from taking care of errands and also just um calming down my dad's party this weekend was so much fun y'all saw the clips from it he had a blast um just being able to celebrate his 60th was really special and i'm happy i was able to do it so now i'm just gonna chill i do have to go to the store later to get some body wash and some lysol just to sanitize things i want to make sure the house stays clean um and mystique is bothering me she's not bothering me but come here mystique come here baby she's asking to go outside right mama you want to go outside right it's okay um so i'm gonna give her a walk and then i'm gonna chill for a little bit and i'm gonna go to the grocery store get the body wash and the what you gonna call it the body wash and the Lysol disinfectant spray and then just call it a day. Um, I've been up all day just ripping and running so I'm happy that I'm finally at a stopping point but I've been uploading vlogs so please 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 let me know if you've been watching them like I know I'm only getting like sorry I have a hair from Mystique. There we go. I know um, I've only been getting like 20 views on each vlog and I really don't care because I really do enjoy the vlogs. Um, but like, sorry y'all. There's something in my mouth. All right. I know I'm only getting like 20 views on the vlogs, like 23 to 20 views on the vlogs and that's okay. I'm still happy and grateful for those views. So if you do watch my stuff, let me know who you are so I can get to know you. Um, I wanna build more of a community with my followers and my subscribers and just my supporters and get to know y'all like y'all are getting to know me. Um, it's good to put a face to the name. So yeah, if you see this video, please just 
let me know who you are in the comments so that way I know who's watching so I can talk to y'all directly. Anyways, I'm gonna go walk Mystique, then I'm gonna go to the store. I'll probably pick y'all up when I go to the store. So, see y'all later. Told you I'm bad at this. I literally left the house and forgot the camera. Um, but, got some food, got my body wash. The fact that I paid probably $30 for two items is wild to me. Let me see how much this actually costs. $25.18 this is 15 dollars like come on y'all let's do better dr bonners like y'all are the goat when it comes to bonners bronners do better dr bronners y'all are the goat when it comes to the soap but 15 dollars when it, i'm used to it being less gotta do better this was five wasn't that bad but yeah for two items paying 30 dollars is wild to me um i got some food and I also, hold on, just sanitizing some spaces. Um, I also got some uh, food to eat. So I'm gonna actually take down my braids and after, well, after I eat my food, I'm gonna take down my braids and then I'm going to just chill. Um, it's been pretty crazy, pretty busy for me. And I'm happy I've been staying consistent with everything. <laughs> Y'all just hear me spraying down these doorknobs. That's basically what I do. It's just for maintenance, making sure we stay clean in the house, you know? Um, but anyways, like, yeah, like, I've been staying busy, but I've been staying consistent, and I'm really proud of that. Just making sure, like, hey, you're not just finding busy work to do. Like, you're actually doing things with a purpose, and I'm proud of that. Um, what else? Um yeah i just feel really good about it and i'm still staying consistent with youtube for the most part i've been able to post a couple of vlogs if not a video or a short every week which is something I, I feel proud of um which i deserve to feel proud of and yeah i just feel really good so i think i'm gonna probably see watch y'all y'all are gonna watch me take down my braids after i eat and stuff and we'll see how crazy my head looks i think i'm gonna pull up some videos on youtube to see if there's any like tricks or hacks to taking down braids without damaging your hair too much or anything like that but that's the rest of this evening so the next time i'll see y'all my braids will be no more it was fun while it lasted though um it was literally two months i got them in june it is now august almost like mid-august so yeah, I got these braids two months ago, so I'm happy about that. But anyways, I'm gonna take these braids down after I eat and chill and go from there. So see y'all after I do that. You know how sticky it get, hey. You know how sticky it get, hey. You know how sticky it get. Talk home and hanging on my neck. The brace that matches the set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would've went corporate. She wish I would've went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Chevy, ooh, and on back. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block. Cause you know how sticky it get, 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 Love my guys, I wouldn't trade. Ay. Run the cradle to the grave. Ay. Gordo got me on the wave. Man got me on the wave. Couple of hits, now you brave. What? You niggas better behave. What? All that pumping up your chest. What? All that talk about the best. What? You know how sticky it gets. You know how sticky it gets. If I'm with two of them, then it's 
a threesome and she alone, you know she a freak one. If it's an escort, it's a police one. I just uh, King of the hair, you know it's a steep one. If we together, you I know used, it's a brief uh, one. Back just in the to show you how much hair up. I lost. From it's a deep one. June Forgave niggas and they feelings. Lucky August. for y'all, we don't do civilians. You say I changed, I say that I'm millions. Which I don't feel like I it's did. a lot. The um, toughest act that follows back on to like an off road made back Pyrex trap. What I can't say to Tango is this water yeah. bottle. That's something to me. Niggas really had their back turned to me. I ain't talking my sister when I say niggas down the pack something for me. Then they thought they had a trap set for me. How you really think that went for me? Niggas got to get my hair nice and slick. And then I use a wet brush to detangle. I'll show you what that looks like. I use a wet brush and my fingers. So the first go around, I put the awesome white shampoo in my hair. Got a good like lather going without the water. I sprayed a little bit of water just to get a lather going. And then um, use my fingers to kind of comb through. And then I just started splitting my hair up into sections. Then after all of them were split up into like eight sections, I used this guy, I just washed it off, to um, detangle. And then I condensed those sections into six sections instead of eight sections. So now I'm gonna rinse this all off in the shower um, and then blow dry my hair. I don't know if I'm gonna do a hard press or not. I haven't decided. I'm leaning towards just keeping it simple and because it's already hot outside so there's really no point in me going crazy with the um with the straightening and plus i'm going to be relaxing my hair this weekend so that's why i wanted to get these braids out as soon as possible so that way i don't be out here feeling overwhelmed and you know like how i look right now <laughs> so i'm gonna wash my hair i'm going to blow dry it and then do a not a silk press but just a regular press just so that way it's not tangled and then by the time it's time for me to relax i'll be ready to go um i'm also going to deep condition my hair before i wash it with some hair mayonnaise um but not too much because i know there's a lot of buildup in my hair that i've already been working out of my hair so yeah but that's the strategy that I'm gonna be doing. So I'll see y'all when my hair is blow dried and pressed. See you later. I said I will see y'all when my hair was done being blow dried. Now I'm gonna flat iron it because my roots are very poofy and I wanna make sure that they don't get tangled up. So I'll see y'all when I'm done flat ironing my hair. All right, y'all, I gave myself the old lady bump because I'm literally gonna put a U-part wig on top of this to give myself some length. But my hair is good, it's healthy, it feels soft. Um, and yeah, it was a pretty straightforward process. I just flat ironed it after I blow dried it. I don't really care if the movement's too stiff. Like I don't care if it's not moving how it normally does because like I said, I'm putting a part wig on it anyways. And I'm getting my relaxer in on this weekend. And since it is um, Thursday, I have a good window of time to just let my scalp breathe and do its thing. Um, before I get my relaxer. So yeah, see y'all, excuse me, see y'all later. <laughs> hey y'all, happy Saturday. Um, today was a self-care day and I didn't take out with me cause y'all have already seen me do the, <laughs> the things that I normally do. So today I got my nails done. So y'all can see that. There are my nails, nice and pretty and new, very basic, I know. Um, and then I went to Sephora not too long ago. And I am really a one trick pony when it comes to things nowadays. I got the Peter Thomas Roth Retinol Fusion PM Night Serum. This is the truth, worth every penny, even though it is kind of pricey. So I'm very sparingly when I use that. And then I went to Pottery Barn. What's this place called? Hold on. Yeah, Pottery Barn. Babes, if y'all want a candle that smells so good. Get you this one, it's called Amber Incense. When I tell you this candle smells so good and so, it's like a year long candle. It's just such a sexy scent. Here are the notes, um, incense, amber, iris, citron, sandalwood, bergamot, and white cedar. It smells so good. Um, I'm keeping the box because you can still smell the candle in the box, but I put the candle over here in the kitchen. So when I'm ready to light it, I'll light it. And then I got a Lululemon 
pair of pants. I don't know if I like them yet. The support is not super supportive, but I do like how there's pockets. It does feel like a second skin. These are called the, hold on, let me see. These are called the Wonder Train HR Tight 25 with pockets. They have a new one called the Contour with pockets and I'm thinking about getting again because they have a clearance section at Lulu. So the price that I was paying for other brands, like I could buy some Lulu and be totally fine. Um, just look at the clearance, babe. You're gonna find what you need in the clearance section. But that's all I did today. Now I'm gonna take a shower and chill and my battery's about to die. So I think I'm gonna end this right here. Let y'all know that I love y'all. I will see y'all next time. And yeah. Bye. <laughs> What's going down? Oh, I'll be there for sure.